Doc, it's a it's a big barn. Why don't you find your own spot, okay? You got another one of those? You have to wait until I put the pack away? All right, forget it. I got a report into Lieutenant Hanley. McCall. You see how North and Whitcomb got it? I don't know, Sarge. We just got clobbered, that's all. Little John? Uh, I didn't see much in the rain. We started up. Cage was supposed to be on the flank. I was on the flank. No, well, you sure couldn't tell it. All right, just knock it off. All I want to know is how North and Whitcomb got killed. Sounded like a Schmeiser got him. Didn't you hear it, Cage? Hear it? Now, what do you think had me pinned down? Now, look, you guys, if you don't know what happened, why don't you keep your big mouth shut? How would you know what happened with your face down in the mud? Are you saying it's my fault they got it? I'm saying you were supposed to be on the right flank and you weren't. So do you want to make something out of that? Well, you... All right, knock it off! Come on! Knock it off! Come on! All right, kid, you sit down. Sit down! Me too, little John. Sit down. Now, we were lucky it was raining out there. They would have spotted us all. They had half a platoon, so don't tell me whose fault it was.
spotted some Germans on the upper road. Then we heard some armor. Sounded like it was coming behind them and up in the woods. We're on our way up to try to find it. That's when North and Whitcomb got it. What about the rest of the men? Nobody else got hit, Lieutenant. But the men have had it. They're out on their feet. So am I, Lieutenant, so if that's all, I'll be getting back. It's not, Saunders. You gotta go out again. When? Right now. S2 needs a prisoner. Lieutenant, I only have four men left. They haven't had any sleep in almost three days now. I know. Well, they're not alone. We're sending men out tonight all along the line. You go out now while it's still dark. The rain will help. It'll help. We haven't been drying over two days. Now, Lieutenant, you never heard me give you a beef about morale before. But I'm telling you, the men have had it. I just had to bust up a wrestling match and then they were jumping down each other's throats. I'm sorry, Saunders. Those are orders. Yes, sir. You guys want some stew? Well, come on, you gotta have something in your stomach. Doc, the only thing my stomach needs is sleep. All right, saddle up. We're going out again. needs a prisoner. going to move now while it's dark and it's still raining. What's the hurry? It ain't ever gonna stop raining. The sooner we grab one, the sooner we get back. Or do they think we can go without any rest? I don't know, Doc. I guess they're trying to find out. Well, couldn't you tell a lieutenant to... I told him. He's got his orders, same as we have. All right, we're going to try to find their outpost line. If we get lucky, we grab a sentry. Cage. Take the point.
What a setup. Should be a cinch for a change. Tommy, I had to shoot. There goes our prisoner. Nice going, hero. Sam Patrol from Finsex Mark. Let's get out of here. Zurück gehen! 
Geh doch nicht zu einem Zauberster. You do all the crying you want, but until this mission is over, you keep your mouth shut. You got it? Call. You're on Little John. Your outpost line should be over there. Scout up ahead, but if you're running any crowds, don't try anything. Report back here. All right, move out. That? Sounded like it. Well, we're all beat. We're walking on our heels. He'll be all right with a good night's sleep. I'm not worried about it later, Doc. I'm worried about it right now. If they keep it up, they'll have to blow this whole mission. Can't you send one of them back? I thought about it, Doc. But we're shorthanded now. I don't even know what we're up against. Well, it can't be much further than that. At least it stopped raining. We're running to the cross. You wish it didn't. All right, let's go find them. for you? No, that's all right, Doctor. It doesn't hurt anymore. <sighs> you know something, Cage? You're both wrong. All I know is that I had a crowd gun on me and I shot first. Now, what does he get off accusing me? He's the biggest stumble bum in the outfit, and you know it. How many times did he foul us up? I guess you don't remember the time that stumble bomb pulled you out of a crot machine gun nest and took you back to our lines. That's what I mean, Cage. Nobody fouled up. You guys just aren't thinking clear. Do me a favor, will you, Doc? Skip the sermons. Cage, Doc.
Germans. Yeah, but who's got who? You've got your crowd for the night. Cage! squad you got it that goes for you too cage out come on get in the rear you take the point move
pretty deep, huh, Serge? It'll be light in about an hour. There's an old farmhouse not too far away. Better check it out. Call you're on me. Rest of you stay put. You guys ought to feel real proud of yourself. Doc, I told you they skipped the sermons. Listen, you tell me to shut up and I'll bust you on myself. And it goes for you, too, you big ape. Now, wait a minute, Doc. What's the matter? Don't you like that kind of talk? Sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? Well, that's just exactly what you two been sounding like all night, like a couple of kids. Don't even know what you're arguing about anymore. So you're tired and you got a little wet. And you need sleep. Well, big deal. So does everybody else. What about the Sarge? Boy, you're really helping him, aren't you? Why do you suppose he left you two here? What are you talking about? He left us here to, to cover him. Did he? Or was it because he was afraid he couldn't trust you anymore?
gonna do? Check it out. Leapfrog and I'll go first. You give me cover. Let me try to get you out of here. I can't make it on this leg. Get changed, you little John. I can't leave you here. Go on. Get changed, you little John. Go on. Back there, by the farmhouse. They got him pinned down. He's hit. How bad is he? I don't know, Doc. It looks pretty bad. Doc, get into some better cover. What are you going to do? What do you think?
charge. No. In the woods, too. There he is. Let's get him off him.
Where are you going? See the Sarge? Look, you know where I was going. Yeah. Doc, will you do me a favor? Will you ask him something for me? Look, you got something to say. Won't you tell him yourself? I don't know, Doc. He was pretty mad out there. Sure he was mad, but he had a right to be. Look, you were wrong, and you know it. So won't you go tell him? Yeah, but... No buts. <laughs> Why do you think I've been stalling around here for? Come on. Saunders is in that corner bunk over there. How are you feeling, Sarge? Okay. Uh, Doc... Uh, Doc said you'd be getting out of here soon. That's right. I put three of transfers. Sarge, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I didn't ask you for one. I said I put through your transfers. I guess the word's out. Nobody wants you. That's right, nobody wants you. So I guess I'm... I'm stuck with you. <laughs> Doc, tell me what happened back there. We did all right. It was a tough setup. Yeah, and they brought back a prisoner on top of it. They even brought me back. Now, what are you standing around here for? If I wasn't flat on my back, you know what I'd be doing right now? Having a nice cold glass of beer. Yeah. Hey, how about a cage? Sounds good. Doc? How about you? You're better, Doc. Got to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Take it easy, Sarge. Bye, Sarge.